praise the Lord. Turning your Bibles with me to the word of the Lord, my friends, found in the book of Matthews. That's Matthews chapter 6 and beginning at verse number 31. And also, go with me to the word of the Lord in the book of John chapter 19. That's John chapter 19 and beginning at verse number 33. Matthews chapter 6 and verse 31. The Bible says, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or, with, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Verse number 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. St. John chapter 19, St. John chapter 19, and beginning at verse number 33. St. John 13, St. John 19, and beginning at verse number 33. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. I'd like to talk to you today for a few moments here, my friends. You are running out of time. You are running out of time. Here today, my friends, I want you to know and want you to realize and understand that time is winding down and that your days are numbered today and you must understand and begin to realize that these are the last days and that the enemy is bombarding the lives of multiple thousands of millions of people today and he is not taking uh, your life lightly but my friends, I've got good news for you today. The word of the Lord says, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. These are the days where you need to get saved and call on the name of the Lord. And begin to ask, see, we, we fail to ask God, God, I know I need you. I know I can't make it without you, and I'm asking you to come into my life today and change me. We need a changing, hallelujah, from the old to the new. We need a washing. We need a regenerating spirit within our lives to be able to stand on every word of Almighty God. The Bible says, but when they came to Jesus, See, the enemy is coming to you to destroy your life. The enemy is coming to you to break your life in two. But I've got a foundation for you. And your foundation is in the word of Almighty God. But you have to make up in your mind that I'm going to seek the Lord while I'm in the land. So you can't seek God when you're not here no longer. There's going to come a day, my friend, when people are going to want to seek God, but God is not going to be anywhere around. They're going to seek after the things of God, but God have, will, be, will have been already came and gone left. Seek ye the Lord, my friends, while he may be found. Call about him while he may be near. He's nearer to you than you can believe. Uh-huh. See, the enemy does not want you to hear the word of God. The enemy wants to close your thinking, your mind, to the things of Almighty God. People today, they are unestablished. They, are, they, are, they have no foundation. They are wishy-washy. They are here today and pop up here today and gone tomorrow. I have never seen so many people in the history of my life, and I'm only a young man, but I've never seen so many people today every time uh -huh, 
something happens in their life and the enemy bombard their life and they get a little tingle from the things of God and God touches their lives. Uh huh. The next thing you know is that they want to be a preacher. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, preaching the gospel does not make you qualified for heaven. There's many of people, uh huh, that have preached the word of God and still yet went to hell. Uh huh. You gotta hear the word of God on today and begin to stand up for the things of the Lord. See, we, we don't seek after the things of God. We don't seek after the will of God. We don't seek after the ways of God. We don't seek after the mind of God. We don't seek after, hallelujah, the holiness of God. Holiness is right in these last and in these evil days. The spirit of holiness, you are running out of Time, my friend, you're running out of time, and your time is slow walking you down. You're being wound down by the devil, and the devil is coming against your mind every step of the way. Everywhere you turn, here comes the devil to deceive you and to put roadblocks within your path and to put the enemy's uh, tactics into your path to pull you away from the things of God. There's no pressing. Uh, hallelujah. That I'm going to you. There's no pressing into the things of God. There's no pressing towards the things of the Lord. We run from the altar instead of running to the altar. We run away from God instead of running to God. But my friend, the Bible says, the Bible says, then they came, then the soldiers, hallelujah, then the soldiers came to Jesus. Uh -huh. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was dead already, and they broke not his bone. That the fulfillment of God's word shall be established. They broke not his bones. My friends, the enemy is coming to try to break you in half. He's coming to break your mind in half, to stir up your mind and cause you to be wishy-washy. You're here today and gone tomorrow. Pop up here today and pop out tomorrow. I have never seen so many people. One minute you're a prophet. The next minute you are an evangelist. The next minute you are a pastor. The next minute you are a teacher. You don't know what you is. And people don't know what you are either. You know why? Because you are wishy-washy. You are not established in the word of God. You have not been rooted and grounded into the things of almighty God. You have not been called to the ministry of the gospel. And you need to sit down and learn some things about the word of God and learn about the things of God. Learn about the holiness of God. There are so many people. You can see them in the marketplace. One minute they preaching, the next minute they won't even shake your hand. One minute they God of the most They're calling on the name of Jesus. And the next minute they look like they're sucking on a lemon. You can't get a hallelujah out of them. You can't get a praise the Lord out of them. You are a deceived spirit. You are a deceived devil. And the devil is ruining your life and running your life. But my friend, I've got news for you today. The Bible says, the word of the Lord says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. What things? The things of holiness. The things of sanctification. The things of being sanctified. Some folks say they're sanctified. And they claim sanctification. They claim to be so sanctified. They claim that they claim to be so sanctified. Mm -hmm. But they're not sanctified. They're so ditty. They've got a so ditty spirit inside of them. They've got a jealous spirit inside of them. They got a lust spirit. Spirit down on the inside, looking at every other man's woman, looking at other every other man's wife, looking at every other man's 
daughter. There's a spirit of the devil and it's deep down on the inside and it's got to come out. You are running out of time. My friend, you got to make up in your mind today. Make up in your mind today. Whose side are you going to be on? One minute you're on God's side and the next minute you're back out in the world and then when times get rough, see, when times get rough, you run back to God and you run to, to the altar mm -hmm. and you cry those crocodile tears uh -huh. but they are not real it's a fake crocodile tear you are phony the devil is inside of you and he's running your life and he's ruining your life and he's causing you to miss what God had intended for your life see God's got a way my friend that's mighty sweet God's got a way that's mighty sweet I may not be able to preach to you no more you may not never hear me no more but today you've got to understand and realize that you are running out of time you got to run to Jesus call on the name of the Lord see we run to God in a tragedy when a tragedy happens when something tragic happens here we go running to God uh huh. We're coming to you now, Jesus. We're coming to you now, God. Uh huh. Because something has bad happened. But my friend, I'm here to tell you today. You better make up in your mind today. Stop uh -huh, being a phony. Stop being wishy washy. Stop being up one day and down the next day. Stop being in one day and out the next day. Get established in the Word of God. See, you take the Lord. See, there are people in, in jail. They've been in jail for 25 years. They've been in jail for so many numbers of years, my friends. There are over 20,000 people locked up in the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. And some don't even know how they got there. They don't realize that the enemy was fighting them every step of the way. That the devil was pulling out their lives every moment of their life. Every second of their life. But you you know what, my friends, when they got in jail, they got established in the word of God. Mm, what a sad way to get established in this word. The Bible says, come to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. See, it's going to take the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's going to take the power of the blood of Jesus. There's too much stuff going on. Too much wishy-washy going on. So many things is happening. So many things is going on. And we're not rooted and grounded in the word of God. See, in the word of God, my mama, my mama taught me, there in the word of God, there is a sanctified hiding place where you can be covered by the blood of Jesus. You can be covered by the authority of God. My friend, you got to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he may be near. Call on the name of Jesus while the blood is running warm in your vein. You got to make up in your mind today. This is my searching day. You got to make up your own mind. You got to make up your mind that I'm going to serve the Lord no matter what they talk about me about. No matter how they feel about me. No matter what they say about me. I'm going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going over on the Lord's side and I'm going to serve God until the day that I die. See, some people, the enemy gets inside of them and tell them, you are, you got too much to serve God. You're doing too good in this life to serve God. You got a good job. You don't need to serve God. But my friend, it can all be wiped away. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, it can all be gone. Mm -hmm. You got to come over 
on the Lord's side and stay on God's side. Stay rooted and grounded into the things of Almighty God. You got to learn how to press in to the things of the Lord. I mean really get rooted and grounded in the word of God and begin to seek him while he may be found. Look here at the word of God, my friend. The Bible says in the word of God, the first in the word of the Lord in John chapter 20 the first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early when it was yet dark unto the sepulcher and see the stone mm, taken away from the sepulcher hallelujah then she runneth and cometh to Simon and Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and said unto them they have taken away the Lord out of the sepulcher and we know not where they have laid him my friend the love of God see I'm preaching to you because I love you I'm talking to you about Jesus because I love you I have no power whatsoever in me or on on me or in my control. Glory to God. But I'm telling you today that the love of God, see the love of God, it needs to be on the inside where you love everybody regardless of what church they go to. You love them regardless of what kind of denomination they're in. You love them because they are people. See we got to love people for people and not love people because of what they say they're in. My friend, I remember talking to a man Man bigger than I was. Uh huh. Stronger than he was stronger than me because he was bigger than I was. But I was talking to him about Jesus. He said, Don't you know I can bust you in the nose and knock you down? I said, No, you can't. Because see, the Jesus in me ain't going to let you do that. You're going to have to humble yourself under the power of Almighty God. And you know what he did before we left each other? He said, Elder, I want you to pray for me. Pray for me. And I said, okay, let's pray right now. Let's call on Jesus right now. You got to call on God now. Time is winding down. And you are running out of time, my friend. You got to make up in your mind today. Whose side are you going to be on? One day you're a prophet. Next day you're an evangelist. The next day you're an elder. The next day you're a preacher. The next time I see you, you're a bishop. And the next time I see you, you complete out of everything. My friend God, hallelujah, is a real God. And God is not up for no junk. Mm -hmm. There's too much junk going on. God ain't up for no junk. God is looking for some realness. He's looking for some purifiedness. He's looking for some sanctified folk. Hey, glory to God. Somebody that's willing to be sanctified and to call on the name of Jesus. Not to be so diddy. Not to think you something other than what you are. My friend God is a good God. He's a loving God. He's a kind God. He's a caring God. God cares for you right now, today. He cares for you. There's so many people out here, my friend, today. Uh -huh. They are so blessed by the hand of God. People in foreign nations, over there in foreign countries, living in poverty. And people over here in America are living in welfare, living better than the folk that's got regular jobs. They got regular jobs, but they are not even above the poverty level. And folk are on welfare. Blessed, more blessed than they are. My friend, they got they got cars. They got flat screen TVs in their house. They got diamond rings on their finger. And they're supposed to be in poverty. And there are folk over there in poverty nations. Mm -hmm. They don't have anything. They're living out of a bucket. And we are so blessed by the hand of God. But yet we won't come to Jesus. We won't come to the Lord. We won't come to God. We won't turn our lives over unto the Lord. There was a man that had everything. He had it all. He built bigger bonds. He built more bonds. 
and he put all of his stuff in there. Everything that he had required, had acquired, had accumulated in his life. He was blessed, my friend, and he had good stuff. But, my friend, in the middle of the night, well, glory be to God. I'm talking about in the middle of the night. See, in the middle of the night, his soul was required of God. Mm -hmm. And now, who is all this stuff uh, going to be left to? Uh, who is all these things uh, he had required, inquired, uh, are going to be left to? Uh, he's got to leave it behind. Uh, my friend, uh, you got to leave those old things behind uh, and begin to pick up the word of God. And begin to call on the name of Jesus while the blood is running warm in your vein. See, this kind of talking you don't really want to hear. I know it. I had to hear it before when I was young coming up. You need to come to Jesus. There's young men out there. They won't even get a job. Won't even work at McDonald's. Won't even get a job working at McDonald's because they're lazy and won't get up and do nothing. Their minds is see it by the devil but you better make up in your mind whose side are you going to be on are you going to be on the Lord's side one minute you're on God's side the next minute you back out on the devil's side you got to make up in your mind make your mind up today make up in your mind whose side are you going to be on are you going to be on the side of God or are you going to be on the side of the world so you can choose where you want to be at you, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it is your choice to choose where you're going to be. But the Bible says to seek, seek, seek. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and get established, get rooted. See, that's the problem. We don't want to be rooted and grounded in the things of God. We don't want to be rooted and grounded in the things of the Lord. I talked to a man one time. I said, well, praise the Lord, my friend. God bless you. Good to see you. God's been good. Yes, he has been good. What church are you going to now? Well, you know, I'm not going anywhere right now. I was over there, but I'm not over there no more. Uh-huh. Well, then I talked to him again. Where are you going to church at now? Well, I was over there, but I'm not going there any longer. My friend, the establishment of the word of God is what you need in your life. You stop, you gotta stop going here and there and running here and running there and get established in the word of God. Get rooted and grounded. See, that word rooted, we don't want that. You gotta get rooted and grounded in the word of God. Why? Because you are running out of time. Mm. And you got to know for a surety. Mm. See, it's all right right to get your you know it's all right to get your uh, your house in order uh huh. Far as you know, having your life insured, that I have no problem with that. But you better get reassured. You better get the real assurance, and that's Jesus. That's the real assurance. Because see, you can't take nothing in this world with you. Naked came I into the world, and naked shall I leave this world. You got to make up in your mind today, Lord. I want to get saved. Glory be to God. I want to get born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah by the power of God. Wash me all over Jesus and clean up my mind. Get all the junk, all the filth, all the hatred, all the malice, all the strife, all the envy, all the jealousy. Everything Jesus drive it out of me Lord. Allow it not to be in me. Mm. Wash my mind Jesus. I want to be holy God. Just like you. I want to walk like you Jesus. I want to be able to love my fellow man. I want to be able to love hallelujah my fellow brother. I want to be able to have the love of God. I want it to be rooted down on the inside of my life. I want it to be so pressed inside of me that God knows hallelujah. He knows my life. He knows all about me. But I want my life to be established in the word of God. I want to be rooted and grounded in the things of the Lord. You are running, running, running. You are running out of time. And you got to make up in your mind today whose 
side are you going to be on? See, the Bible said that Mary Magdalene, she thought she was looking for God. Hallelujah. Because of the thing that he did for her. God, he was good unto her. And he blessed her life. My friend, if you really want to be blessed by God, if you really want the establishment of the Lord to come into your life, well, you got to make up your own mind. Can't nobody make it up for you. You got to make up your mind today because you are running, running, running out of time. You are running in the wrong direction. Easy to be led in the wrong direction, but hard to be led in the direction of God. My friend, God is standing right near you, and you got to say, Long, come into my life right now, Jesus. Save me, God. I don't want to be like this any longer. I don't want this old life any longer. I want a rejuvenated life. I want a change of life. I know some people Some people heard about the man, the 72-year-old man that got a heart transplant. He was 72 years old, and he wanted to live. He didn't want to die. He wanted to live. He was praying for God for God to keep him alive. And then a young child lost his life. And he was a donor, a heart donor. And the donation came to the man. And the Bible and, and the, the people said that the man had recovered. His life was recovered. My friend God is looking to recover your life. There's somebody out there you need a transplant. You need to be born again. By the power of the Lord You need to come to Jesus While the blood is running warm in your veins While the power of God Is still being able to be tangible With inside of you Where you can feel the love of God Hallelujah. My friend, you are running out of time. My time is running out today. I'm running out of time to talk to you, my friend. Come on to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your veins. Come on, come on. Come on, give your life to God today. Come on, give your heart to God today. Give your life unto the Lord on today. Until next time, my friend, you are running out of time. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you in Jesus' name. Amen.